Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's at it once again, bringing you another action figure review of the DC Multiverse Batman vs. Superman Lex Luthor. Oh, yeah, that sucks. I mean, yeah, I didn't even care for... Oh, man, his name will come to me. Jesse Eisenberg. I didn't care for him as Lex Luthor in the first place. So, it's whatever. Yeah, he's got the action figures just definitely not even in the near the realm of being cool, so... <laughs> Let's just get this guy over with and get him out of the package, because he does have a critical piece to our grapnel gun, which we are actually very close to completing now. Um... In fact, I think that this one actually will complete it, but there are, of course, you know, there was uh, exclusive add-on pieces like him and the unmasked Batman, and then there was the Superman with the heat vision, and uh, I don't have that one, but I'll eventually get it. But yeah, so we can go ahead, we're close enough that, you know, by the time I do that review, I'll probably jump right into doing the grapnel gun. So, here's the big old piece of it coming out of here. And then this, like the plastic that came with it. Oh, really? They're going to rubber band jam here? Like somebody's going to steal this? I mean, I guess. About the only thing I could see worth this figure being is a customization for anybody wearing street clothes, but I mean, dude, in my opinion, the sculpt and the articulation on it isn't even worth all that. I don't know, man. It's just really crappy and noticeable. If you see a custom with this, with this buck on it, you're going to look at it and laugh like, oh my God, that's that ridiculous... Lex Luthor, Jesse Eisenberg, uh, <laughs> yeah, what is he, what in the heck, it's not Lex Luthor, people, at all, this is so cheesy, and of course, no ankle articulation, at least in the pivot area, Ugh. guys, come on, man, Mattel, like I said, yeah, you can get that head off there, this would be a good custom for multiple different characters and stuff uh if you want them looking i don't know is that fleek <laughs> what does that look it's <laughs> i guess casual uh got the half untucked shirt sneakers pants and a freaking blazer uh yeah i don't know about that look but whatever <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> womp womp womp, that's all I could say about this man, uh, uh, you know of course I do have the, the, the one that came out later, um, you know where he's in the prison fatigues, in, or, or fatigues, the jumpsuit, and he's bald headed, I mean that would be a cool I guess head swap to go with this maybe, I don't know, uh, and yeah, I don't know, <laughs> throw your uh, your uh, Netflix Frank Castle head on that jumpsuit body and you got a good action figure. <laughs> yeah, this is it, man. Not much to say about this guy because I, I just, I don't love it to death at all and I, I don't hate it either because, I mean, even if nothing else because it doesn't even look nothing like Jesse Eisenberg here. So it really doesn't have to pass off as a Lex. This could be legit a civilian in a, you know, if you're doing any ACBA stuff, you know, this is a, it could be a good civilian to have, just kind of like being the victim of circumstances or whatever, or, <coughs> you know, something like that. Guy at the ATM getting robbed. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Blah blah figure right here. Not crazy about it. So I'm just gonna pretty much leave it at that, man. It's old news, so whatever. Again, uh, 
I'm Master Marvel, man. Hope you guys liked the video. Do not forget to comment and share. And check out old Master Marvel on YouTube, man. Master Marvel 80. Subscribe. Catch you guys later. Peace.